Hello everyone, so in this video I wanted to discuss the Sanderson sisters, the witches from the popular Halloween movie Hocus Pocus. Pretty sure this movie came out in the 90s, maybe the late 90s or mid 90s. Don't quote me on that, I did not do the research beforehand. This is more so discussing a theory I had about the movies, or rather about the three main witches from the movies. Sarah, Mary, and Winifred Sanderson. So my theory is that the three witches are based on animals. There are a lot of their traits, a lot of their personality elements, however few are shown, seem to be able to be kind of boiled down to being able to be attributed to a common animal. The middle sister, if I'm not mistaken, she's giving dog. Why do I think she's giving dog? Why do I think she was based on a simple, simple like dog archetype? It's because there's one scene early on in the movie where I think uh, she's knocked over by Thackeray when he's trying to save his sister. And when she gets back up, I think she makes like a barking sound. It's small, it's brief, but it definitely sounds like a bark. And later in the movie, she's very much acting like a dog because she has the ability to sniff. In the same way a bloodhound dog uses his ability of scent to track and hunt for animals, she uses her ability of enhanced smell, she uses her ability to locate children so that they can absorb their life force from them. And this magical ability also allows her to be able to guess the age of the child as well, just from the scent. Now, that's very dog-like. She has a powerful sense of smell. She made a little barking sound earlier. There's a scene in the movie where they capture Thackeray and Winifred is trying to be sadistic and wondering how should we torture him, what should his punishment be, and Sarah's first thought is, let's barbecue and fillet him, which means she's just thinking about food, she's just thinking about eating, her first thought is barbecue, and I thought it was funny because, you know, how dogs are, they just like to eat a lot, they have a sense of smell, she's very loyal to Winifred, Winifred is, I would say she's not very kind to her sisters, she kind of mistreats them a little bit. Sarah and Mary are both loyal to Winifred, but I feel like, I always felt like Mary was a bit more loyal to Winifred, kind of like the dog at its owner's side. For those reasons, I kind of feel like Mary is more closely related to dogs. Now with Sarah, I feel like she is more closely related to cats. Sarah is very sensuous, she's very feminine, she's very seductive, she's very boy crazy. And obviously we don't normally associate those traits with cats, but cats have always been associated with femininity. But we can say boys are like dogs, we can say girls are like cats. It's just a common thing. It's a, I don't even know exactly where it started, but we do know that cats are associated with femininity. Sarah is very feminine, and she is often thinking about boys, thinking about her beauty. She comments on it throughout the movie. And there's an important scene in the movie where, again, when Thackeray is captured by the three sisters and they're wondering what his fate will be, in the same way that Mary's first thought was maybe we should barbecue and fillet him because she just has food on her mind, Sarah's first thought is hang him on a hook and let me play with him. I mean, there are layers to that. It seems like it can come off sensuous, but it also is very much giving like a cat playing with its food, a cat playing with a toy. And, you know, that paired with her, you know, ultra feminine appearance and, you know, just really playing into that. I feel like she just gave cat energy, really. Now, I talked about this on TikTok briefly and somebody said that they felt like she could be a songbird because she does sing. And that's, you know, the core of her ability is to kind of act like a siren to sing a song that captivates and enchants the children you know, their prey to come toward them. Now, I am not sure off the top of my head what animals, well, there are a lot of animals that lure in prey, either with colors or by appearing as something that they're not, like fish that appear as gr like the ground that camouflage or like the Venus flytrap, it looks like a plant until the flies get too close, you know, but somebody said a songbird and I think that's a fair mention. I don't know. I feel I still feel like it leans more towards feline, like a cat. Kind of opposite to dog. But in the end, I kind of feel more comfortable with cat. Lastly, the one that I find the most difficult of all is Winifred herself. 
Now, she doesn't really give me any specific traits that apply to any specific animal. She's very cunning, she's very devious, she's very villainous. She does not give me any animal in particular. I really was struggling with her, I was thinking maybe snake, you know, maybe something like that. I was talking about on TikTok, somebody suggested maybe like a spider. And you know what, I think they might have been onto something with that. Which again, this could be reaching, although all of this could be reaching really. But I was thinking that maybe a black widow spider. I mean, she was with Billy and she, after she found him cheating on her with her sister, she ended his life, you know, and that's what black widows do. They mate and then they kill their, you know, their one that they mated with. And that's kind of what, you know, Winifred did. Obviously, she, I, I, I assume she doesn't have any kids with Billy, but, you know, but she was with him and she ended his life. And that's probably the best I could do. That's the best animal comparison off the top of my head. I mean, she could be like a spider. If Mary and Sarah are both more simple, simpletons, you know, she's definitely, you know, the most cunning of the three. You know, she's the leader. But I don't feel like I know exactly what animal that translates to. If you have a better idea of what you feel like Winifred Sanderson could be. If you feel like you know what animal she might be an allegory for. If any animal at all. And if you feel like I'm wrong about the other two sisters. Please let me know in the comments down below. A lot of people were enjoying discussing this. And I'm genuinely really eager to hear what other people have to say. Because other people can come to this with you know, a different perspective. And I would love to hear what some of you guys think about what different animals the Sanderson sisters might be allegories for. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you for listening to my funny little thought, my little theory about these Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus. Happy fall and I hope to see you all soon in the next video. Take care.